Unfortunately, Wine Street um, has been regarded as the uh, most violent street in Wales. Um, approximately 40% uh, of our violent crime in Western BCU is unfortunately generated in Wine Street. Well, over the last three years, we, we have had a, a reduction in, uh, in disorder and, uh, and assault with injury within uh, Swansea City Centre and within particularly the nighttime uh, economy in the Wine Street footprint. In respect of what that looks like, uh, there has been an increase in crime over the last 18 months in the area. So Operation Ocean Breeze is an operation um, following on for the very successful One Punch campaign, looking at targeting um, violent crime in, that, in Wine Street and in and around the city centre area. It's an impactive, uh, highly visible operation, working with our partners uh, to tackle violent crime, an early intervention to prevent incidents of disorder erupting later on in the evening. Tonight we, we're hoping to portray a, a positive image of the organisation within the, the Wine Street nighttime economy footprint, uh, to be friendly to, uh, to revellers coming in uh, to drink, but also to set the standards in respect of intoxication and uh, what's known as preloading persons drinking heavily before coming into the vicinity. There are a number of activities which will be taking place, which include licensing visits, um, use of a drug itemizer and drugs dogs um, and basically we've got a, a large amount of resources together tonight to make a big impact in the city centre. We've got a large police presence tonight in the, in the location. We've recently introduced a, a zoning system and the premises attribution science to how we police the after dark. Uh, what that means is any intervention the officers uh, will have will usually not be captured within our uh, occurrence management system and documented. Uh, we now will be capturing that information, it's fed in uh, to a science and that science then uh, provides us with predictive method of policing uh, the Swansea nighttime economy, uh, therefore preventing any uh, disorder before it develops. In respect of the, the passive drugs dog, we'll be working the dog uh, along queues into venues. Uh, we'll also be working the dog into the drop-off zone, which is a safer Swansea project whereby persons come into the city on coaches, they come to a, a drop-off area. Uh, people who come to the city centre in coaches come to one location, they meet it and greet it, um, often we take alcohol off them and we try to set the tone for the evening at that point. We, we run a uh, drugs itemizer operation in two venues. Uh, what that involves is persons uh, uh, are afforded under the condition uh, of entry to, to premises uh, to be searched uh, by the door staff. Uh, at that location we, we will then swab their hands uh, with a view to uh, putting that swab into the itemizer machine and that will identify any controlled drugs afforded us then stop search powers under the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. We'll also be conducting multi-agency licensed uh, premises visits whereby we're looking to uh, introduce um, working relationships with licensees with a view to uh, setting out uh, and ensuring compliance with uh, their licensing objectives and their uh, license conditions. Uh, and also we've got some covert work ongoing at the drop-off point. So uh, all in all we're looking to, uh, to increase and set the standards uh, within the locality. There are a number of other issues that we are dealing with in the city centre. We work with the Police Crime Commissioner to identify a premises uh, which we hope to turn into an alcohol treatment centre. We're working with Safer Swansea and uh, Safer Neath Patalba partnerships in, in the other town centres uh, across the BCU in, in tackling licensing issues. Uh, we've got a saturation policy to try and uh, prevent any further licensed premises from being set up within that area, uh, which then obviously causes further problems. So all in all, it's about keeping South Wales safe, it's about tackling violent crime, and about being impactive.